Hi, my loves. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Wei Me, also known as House of Wei on Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, please go follow me and let's be friends. To my returning subscriber, hey girl, come and grab a seat. So we're back with another shower routine, but this one is slightly different because this is a summer shower routine. Obviously, we all know like summer is really hot, everywhere is really sticky, and it's really blazing hot. So I've tweaked like a bit of products in my shower routine and i've added some to my shower routine as well and i'm here to give you guys the tea if that's something you're interested in stay sit back and relax so i just woke up in the morning and i'm always going to stay hydrated and before i get into my shower routine i need to like lay my bed and get my space really tidy and clean and that is what i'm just doing and before i started laying my bed i was journaling and just writing out like my plan for the day because i love planning out my day i become more productive when i plan out my day so yeah that's just me just starting my day and this is me just laying my bed and getting ready to hit the shower So OGs on the channel know I do not joke my oral hygiene and that's the first thing I always do when I wake up in the morning. I like to have clean, fresh breath. I don't want anybody, <laughs> even if I'm talking to anybody, I don't want any, I hate bad breath, like I detest it. So I'm just going in with my floss, trying to like remove all those like food particles and because that actually gives you bad breath when you not floss and take out like leftover particles stuck in your teeth and in your gums that makes you like have bad breath and this is something you should do incorporate flossing into your into your oral hygiene even if you do not floss like twice a day we can try like once a day a couple of days in the week anything that works for you but this is what i do when i wake up in the morning i just floss and remove all those like dead like leftover particles of food in my teeth and i go with my brush normally i use like an electric brush but today i switch it up actually depending on my mood on what i feel like and today i'm going in with like my manual brush and my toothpaste you guys know i swear by i swear by colgate that is all i use for my teeth i don't use any other toothpaste because i have really really sensitive teeth and gum and if i use toothpaste that doesn't like align with my teeth i actually get like really crazy like mouth sores and blisters in my mouth and it's really terrible so i only use colgate and if you're not using tongue scraper in 2023 i don't know what you're doing and i hear some people don't wash their tongue like who does that that's why you all be walking around with smelly breath like ciao you need to get tongue scrapers and wash your tongue and after washing my tongue i go in with my mouthwash you guys know i swear by listerine this is the best mouthwash in the market if you don't believe me argue with yourself <laughs> don't argue with me so anyways that's like the last step for my oral hygiene and at this point like my breath is smelling really fresh really minty and I can go all about and talk with confidence and not feel like oh my mouth will smell and this also lasts really long like i can still feel like my fresh breath even at 2 p.m 3 p.m in the day and that's because i take my time with my oral hygiene so yeah so another thing i've incorporated recently is a face mask i have very very sensitive skin so i'm very particular about what i use on my face and my body but this is actually a matcha max like the matcha i actually drink and I saw this hack on TikTok and I haven't gone back since then and it leaves my face feeling really fresh and smooth and like a baby's butt so I just use that all over my face and then you know that thing whereby they say whatever you can eat you can actually use on your skin and this matcha mask is the best thing ever and it just leaves me feeling super fresh and super hydrated so I have my max on I leave it on I wash it off when I get into the shower so I just leave that on like all through the rest of my routine and this is me just vibing and feeling myself looking cute in this green mask even though <laughs> so yeah and another thing i've incorporated during the summer is air dry exfoliation so yes i go in with this brush and i just dry brush 
my body like all through my body like dry brush exfoliation rather and this hack i had found really really helpful but the only thing i have a problem with is it leaves me red when i am done just because i have really sensitive skin i don't know if it's normal if you do dry brushing exfoliation please let me know if you turn red when you're done because when i'm done i just feel like literally all my chest is red but this is like a good way to exfoliate and remove like dead skin cells and i've been doing it for a while now although i haven't seen like major results i haven't seen any difference but i heard you have to do like a couple of times or a couple of months before you actually like get a difference if you're already incorporating this into your routine please let me know in the comment section and tell me how it has been for you so far so i just use this brush all over my body my chest my arms my thighs in between my thighs i like using it on my thighs most especially because of you know thick tie problems your thighs like chaff and rub together so i like using it there in between my thighs and my leg and i just do that all over my body and i actually like it it's kind of like really soothing and it just makes you like feel really relaxed so yeah that is what i do right now i just entered the shower and i really like to use like really hot water even though it's summer i must always still use hot water i don't know why maybe the temperature will just be reduced like a little bit but i must sure I use hot water so anyways you guys know like i am in this is me just checking out the temperature of the water if it's okay for me to like go right in i don't want to get like soup burnt because the way i turn up the heat of the shower it's always really hot so you guys know like i'm a sucker for like double cleansing and i just go in with this dove bath soap you guys know i swear by this dove bath soap OGs on the channel already know and this dove bath soap just helps me like remove like remnants of my deodorant and it's just like a first base before i go in with my body wash and the smell of the soap is so amazing and i absolutely love the soap and it's so gentle on my skin and i love the feel of the soap on my body so i'm just done with my first order of business then i'm going in with my body wash my body wash for today is this method body wash oh my god i am not exaggerating this body wash is worth every penny when you use this body wash and you come out of the shower there's nothing like body odor this body wash stays on your skin and you can literally smell it for hours and it is really really nice you smell like coconut milk even your shower is smelling like coconut milk and it is not exaggerated it is worth every penny so i go in with my loofer and my body wash and this loofer is gentle on my skin i already exfoliated so i won't be using like my exfoliating gloves anymore just because i don't want to rip my skin and strip it off every moisture so now i'm really particular so i go in with this loofer and this is just really gentle on my skin and since i already exfoliated i don't need to like do too much in the shower anymore and yeah so i rinse off all that from my body and i just rinse my body and get it ready for the next product the next product i'll be using is this Olay body conditioner this is just like a new find and i am obsessed and i am sold with it this body conditioner leaves your body feeling really really good and the smell is amazing and another fun fact about this is when you use this on your body you actually have like tiny sprigs of like gold shimmer on your skin because this comes with like shimmer and it's infused with coconut oil and vitamin e and they have like different ranges like different scents so i went for the coconut milk one because i love coconut i love the smell of coconut and this body conditioner is everything and more and i'm so grateful that i actually found it because it's like a perfect scent for like date nights or incorporate that with your body wash and you incorporate this as well you're smelling good all through the night i don't know if you guys can see like the tiny sparks of shimmer on my skin this camera is actually not doing justice i don't think you guys can actually see but in real life you can see those tiny sparks of shimmer on my skin and i go in my feminine wash you guys know i swear my summer's eve i am sold on summer's eve this is my favorite bye bye to femme fresh <laughs> sorry for people who use, actually use femme fresh but summer's eve is my go-to right now and i absolutely love it i love how it makes me feel fresh down there and it keeps me fresh for like hours and now nah, i love summer's eve it's the best feminine wash in the market right now or the best i've actually tried because i've just tried only two but between femme fresh and summer's eve i prefer summer's eve then i go in with this tool to like scrape the under of my feet you know summer is in the 
in summer we mostly wear like slippers crocs your feet is out and i hate seeing people with crusty ass feet so i need to keep my feet like really clean and this is also for my feet as well i also take this under to scrape like the under of my feet and this is just my feet brush yes i'm obsessed with keeping my feet like really clean because that's the first thing i actually notice when i see somebody with open shoes or open like i need to see your feet looking good so for my face i just go in with my survey oh just on the channel no who i use on my face this is the only secret to my glowing skin on my face and it's a CeraVe hydrating cleanser and I can absolutely I cannot do with it without this cleanser and it's actually the best for my skin and leaves me feeling really hydrated so right now I'm fresh out of the shower and I just go right in with my body lotion I'm using this Vaseline cocoa butter lotion and this lotion I swear by it I absolutely love the smell of this lotion it's a smell for me and also it's really really hydrating because I have really dry skin so I really go for things that keep me hydrated and not feeling dry and like, like stiff because when my skin gets really dry it gets really stiff so i go in with the cocoa butter and i absolutely love it on my skin and it's really dry and black girl friendly because it doesn't bleach you doesn't change your skin complexion and it just keeps you looking really fresh and smelling fresh all day and i also go in with body oil from jason this body oil i just started using it. i said it's also a vitamin e body oil and it is so it's Number one, a little goes a long way. Can you see how shiny that is? Like a little goes a long way and it just keeps me feeling so hydrated because I have really dry skin. So I'm all about hydration. Even in summer, my dry skin is not as pronounced as winter, but I still need to keep myself really, really hydrated. And this body oil just does it for me. And I absolutely love it. Can you see how my skin is already glowing from that body oil? If you're looking for a really nice body oil to invest in, then I also recommend that as well. You guys know I also love the Avino one, but I love this one as well. And it is really, really hydrating. And I go in with my Dove Stick deodorant. And this one smells like coconut. My routine for today was actually coconut. Because my body wash was coconut. My body conditioner, coconut. And this body dope um, stick deodorant it's also coconut as well and it leaves you smelling fresh for 48 to 72 hours yes i said that you actually literally have to wash it off your body so when they said it was 48 hours 72 hours they were not joking and i love the smell of that and i go in with my body mist from victoria's secret pure seduction this body mist it's kind of like a bit strong that is why i like it because summer i sweat a lot and i need to like really really build up my scent so once i'm done i'm good for the whole day i don't have to start worrying like oh am i smelling bad or anything so yeah i'm done with my first round and i go right ahead to like put on like a really cute outfit because you know i like to feel like i've started my day so i put on this really cute outfit and yeah I had to start my skincare you guys know i don't really do too much for skincare like my face care rather because i have really sensitive skins and it's summer and it's really hot i don't want to get sunburned so i just go in with my moisturizer from simple you guys know that's the moisturizer i've been using like for the longest time and i really don't like to do too much so i'm just moisturizing my face and after that i'll just go in with my sunscreen my sunscreen from Innisfree and that's just basically all I use on my face actually I don't have any skin concerns so I really don't have to use like so much on my face and I thank God for that but my problem with this Innisfree is that it makes me look like a ghost it has this really white cast so I really have to try to like really blend that in so I don't go around looking like I put chalk on my face <laughs> yeah so I'm just trying to like walk that in. And I also, another thing I've incorporated into my summer routine is this Elf Hydrate and Balm. It's kind of like a primer, but right now I can't use it for a primer because the weather is too hot. It will literally melt your makeup. So I just use it like, you know, it gives me that glow and hydrating feel. So I just use it after my sunscreen and it just makes my face like feel very hydrated and makes my skin very plump and lush. And that is what I love about it. So for my skincare, I'm basically done. So I'm just trying to like pat everything in and make everything like blend into my skin. And yeah, that's just basically all I do. And I just protect my skin against the sun with my sunscreen and I don't be doing too much. So I go in with my lip gloss from Maybelline and just keep my lips hydrated lip care is a thing and you guys should not neglect that as well incorporate that into your routine so i'm just like brushing my hair 
and you know i have to like look really good and presentable and also another thing i found is this sunscreen this spray sunscreen for your body because i was about to step out and then, you know i was going to like go into the sun so this support this spray sunscreen really helps and it's really really good so i just spray that all over my body where you know like sun i can get sunburned and i just tap that right into my skin and i got this spray sunscreen from mini so and it's really good and very creative so you don't have to like rub the sunscreen on your body and people tend to neglect like their body care for sunscreen so that's really good as well then for my scents today i'm using the zara red temptation and i'm also using body oils from my brand as well and this two combo is to die for oh my god like the smell is so amazing and when you step out like oh my god you feel like oh my yes you smell good and you feel good so yeah i just spray that don't forget to spray your hair as well your hair is part of your body spray that into your skin your clothes your body and i just went right ahead with my body and um, my perfume oil from my brand if you do not know i have a perfume oil brand make sure to send us a dm and come and copy us as well so i'm just patting that into my body i like putting the body oils on my directly on my skin so that it actually like absorbs like the smell of the body oil on my skin and kind of like it's incorporates into my skin and it's well blended in so that lasts like for way longer and yeah i'm just smelling so good all through the day so this is me i'm done and i'm feeling myself i'm smelling good i'm looking good and everything is good and all right over here so yeah hope you guys like this brings us like to the end of this video hope you guys enjoyed it hope you guys will incorporate some of the things and i'm just going right ahead to like go right about my day so yeah tell me what you guys are adding to your summer shower routine what you guys are going to incorporate from this video what's your favorite part of this video and just let me let's chat in the comment section so that brings us to the end of this video let's just keep in the bad bees we are i love you guys long time and i will see you in my next video bye Loving.